Um, but I kind of was just kind of blissfully ignorant of anything different, because to be honest, I hadn't been around Catholics. You know, my mom was a, was a Catholic, you know, my dad was Episcopal, went to a Catholic church, was kind of liberal, I went to a college, was involved in a lot of non-denominational ministry, but hadn't really been involved in anything Catholic until I started volunteering uh, for a group nearby, in a nearby parish, and that started kind of getting me excited about, hey, look, there's ministry going on in the Catholic church. This is exciting. This is something I'd love to do. Well, I graduate college, and I'm doing a few weird jobs in life. I was playing in a rock band in Central Florida. I was also working every other night in an improvisational comedy club. It's kind of an odd life I was living. I would usually get home at about 3 a.m., and what I'd do is I'd watch CNN because it was the only thing on. And CNN had this story that they were covering, something called the Catechism of the Catholic Church was coming out. And I thought, this sounds pretty cool. And they said, it, it contains everything the Catholic Church believes. Wow. I'd, I'd like to read that. That sounds great. So I'm, I'm like, watch for months. I'm tracking it on CNN. Finally, I remember um, the Catechism came out on a Tuesday. You know, on Monday night, I was so excited. Uh, usually I got home really late and slept in really late, but that day I set my alarm early because I wanted to get to the bookstore because I just thought every Catholic in the world is going to be running to the bookstore. <laughs> you know, they, they probably all watch CNN like I do, but I really need to read this book. So I need to go. Well, I slept in. I wanted to get up at 9. I got up at 10. I'm thinking, oh, no, probably all the copies are gone. So I jump in my car and I drive, uh, I drive to the, the bookstore where I buy all of, my, all of my spiritual reading, Long's Baptist Bible Bookstore. <laughs> and I go to the person at the counter and they know me. And I said, um, and they, I said, do you have any, you know, I'm looking around, I can't see it. I'm thinking, oh, it's all sold out. Maybe they have some in the back. So I go to the woman at the counter and I say, uh, do you have any catechisms of the Catholic Church? Now, this poor lady, she literally took a step back from the register and said, Say what? <laughs> Me being naive. Catechism of the Catholic Church. And she looked at me, she said, we don't sell that book here. I said, can you order it? <laughs> you know, and, and she's like, uh, no. And I said, well, where, where am I supposed to get the catechism of the Catholic Church? She said, uh, you should try a Catholic bookstore. And I said, there are Catholic bookstores? <laughs> this is great. Nobody ever told me there were Catholic bookstores. So I was like, so where's the Catholic bookstore? She had no idea. You know, she kind of took a stick and pushed me a phone book, you know? And so I, I get, you know, I'm like, can I use your phone? She pushes a stick, you know, everyone's kind of huddled back. You know, I'm calling and I'm talking to this woman. So it's, I remember the name of it. It was the Abbey Catholic Bookstore. And uh, I call and I say, do you have any catechisms of the Catholic Church? And I had to say it a few times because the woman at the other end of the line was just a little bit older than death. And I mean, it was just like, hello, you know, and you know, I'm screaming on the phone. Everyone's kind of looking at me like, what is he doing? And uh, I said, can you hold one for me? She says, no. I said, why not? You know, she said, we have a lot of them. I was just like, well, well just, just hold one for me, please. No. I'm thinking, ah, oh, no wonder I didn't go to this Catholic bookstore. They're so rude there. So I jump in my car. Now I'm looking for the Catholic bookstore. Now my only experience of bookstores had been Christian bookstores, you know, like the huge mega malls, megalopolises, things as you drive by. So I'm driving all around. You know, I'm finally kind of narrowed down the square block and I'm kind of, you know, going in like a spiral search. I probably passed it two or three times. It was this little tiny you know, I, I think it was like 22 and a half. I mean, it was like a half a number. No windows, just this little wooden door. It had this very small sign. It said the Abbey Catholic Bookstore. So I parked my car. I kind of followed the numbers, you know, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, 22 and a half. Here it is. There's the door. I open up the door. First thing I see is a life-size statue of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Now, I'd never seen the Sacred Heart of Jesus before in my life. And my first thought was, huh, this must be like a anatomically correct Jesus. You know, you kind of, I bet, you know, you can see the brain and see the lungs. You know, I thought maybe it was something they kind of taught anatomy with. I'm like, hey, you know, us Catholics, we're pretty clever. You know, this is kind of cutting edge stuff. Turn the corner and I see all these statues. And I just assumed they were all of Jesus and Mary, you know. And, you know, I, just in different outfits. That's what I thought it was, you know, because... 
I, I collected Star Wars figures. So, you know, you'd have Luke Skywalker, but then you'd have Luke Skywalker in Jedi gear, and Luke Skywalker in Hoth gear, and Luke Skywalker in Bespin gear. I figured that's Mary. That's Mary dressed in brown. That's Mary dressed in black and white. That's Mary holding flowers. That's a young Mary. That's an old Mary. You know, you know, you know there's, there's Jesus dressed in black. There's Jesus, you know, all these different things. I'm like, wow, this is got, and of course, St. Patrick, as an Irish person, I knew St. Patrick, you know, so. So, uh, and of course I turn and there's a, just this old woman, you know, and there's this huge stack of catechisms that's sitting next to her. You know, I think there'd already even been a spider web. I'm not sure how that happened. But, um, so I grabbed, I grabbed the catechism of the Catholic Church. I also grabbed a pamphlet on how to pray the rosary. Hadn't prayed the rosary before. You know, kind of knew of it, sounded good. I thought Mary was, she was all right by me. You know, wasn't hurting anybody. That's cool. Um, and so I went home. Now, I had a very active prayer life, a very active faith life, but I have to tell you, um, I, I just devoured the catechism, and I would always pray the rosary every time I did, and God just gave me mystical experiences. I mean, I remember I'd be praying the sorrowful mysteries, and I would just, I would just find myself at the end in a ball on the floor crying, feeling as though I was at the foot of the cross, and I was reading the doctrine, the truth of the Catholic faith you know, for the first time, really getting. A lot of it actually, God had kind of been teaching me. A lot of it actually just seemed to make sense to me. And, you know, Cardinal Schoenborn once said that the catechism is the blueprint for the heart of Christ. And I think it's kind of beautiful that the first thing I saw when I walked in that Catholic bookstore was the sacred heart of Jesus. Because then I got to read about it. And then I got to experience it. The catechism came out in March or April. And it was right before... Uh, um, right before Easter. And so I went to a Holy Thursday liturgy. I'd never been to a Holy Thursday liturgy before. And I followed the Eucharist as it processed around the church into the tabernacle in the back. And I just fell on my knees and said, you are God. Like, you are God. And how good you are to me to share yourself with me. Um, I am thankful. You know, there before the grace of God go I. I am thankful for a family that's loved me, that raised me in the faith. I'm thankful to the Father for calling me his child, for Jesus giving me an intimate personal relationship with, and especially the Holy Spirit, which just, who just continues to draw me deeper and deeper into the mystery of his love. And especially on this day, I'm just really thankful I got to share that message with you. God bless.